Social media can be an effective way to promote your website. There are many ways that you can be using either paid or non-paid promotions to drive traffic to your website. In this video, we're going to show you some built-in features of Wildfire, which will help you connect visitors with social media. There are two different types of social media links which can be activated from your website. Share links and follow links. Share links are ones where people can share links of your website on their own social media accounts. If you click on the link, it takes them to their social media account and they can say something about your website. And when they post it, it'll show in their newsfeed. Follow links are links to a social media account that you specify so somebody can click and follow you. Let's take a look at how to customize these links on your website. On the Wildfire menu, at the top of the screen, click Style Your Website, then Social Media. You'll see the two options, Share Links and Follow Links. First, let's click on Share Links. You'll see that there are many different options that you can make available on your site. If any of these social media platforms are not commonly used in your area, it's best to leave those unchecked. Check any of the ones that are common. Once you have the selections the way you would like, scroll to the bottom. When people share your website on their social media, by default, the website logo will be shared. If you want to choose a different image to be shared instead of the website logo, click this button and click Add Media to find it. Otherwise, click Save at the bottom of the screen. OK, I am going to click View Website. And when I scroll to the bottom, you'll see that there are not any share links yet on my page. You actually have to activate them for each page that you want them to appear on. The social media share links do not appear unless you enable them. To do that, click Title and Options at the top of the page. Then, check the box that says Show Social Media Share Links. Then click Save. And at the bottom of the page, you'll now see that those share links are here so people can click on them. Now, let's go back and look at the follow links. So again, I'm going to make sure that style your website is activated, then click social media, and then follow links. On this page, you'll need to specify your social media accounts so that people will be able to click on the link. For example, I'll have to go to the Facebook page that I have for my Bright Ideas website building, and I'll need to copy the URL for that Facebook page. Hit Control C. Now I'll go back to my website, and I'll paste that here under Facebook. And then I'll need to do the same for any of these that I want. If I have an Instagram account or Twitter or YouTube or any of these other social media, including a WhatsApp number, I can put those in here. You can either check or uncheck to display the follow us text. And when I'm finished, I'll click save. Then I go back to view website and I go to the bottom. This will show in the footer. I only activated the Facebook, but every social media icon that you have will show here. One thing to note, follow links will be automatically displayed on every page of your website in the footer. Share links will be at the bottom of only the pages that you have enabled them for. That's all for now. If you need any further help, reach out to your digital publishing manager.